Ah. The art booze boo. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dude, Get, Mike, don't do that. Gotcha, gotcha, Please bro. Don't, don't. I hope you're wearing your brown pants, Patrick. <laughs> God, it's always me who's wearing the brown pants. You guys need to start wearing. Them. Unless you have like yellow pants in the front and then brown pants in the back, so Perfect. they're stitched together. Perfect. Uh, because I you're wear, gonna need them, Pat, for I this wear episode. Backwards. I wear backwards dude. <laughs> guys, it's the Art Bros here. Mike, Fancy Dave, and Patrick, as always. And keeping up with the creepiness of this month, we are doing more creepy artwork. More, more, more. Give us more. Today, we are talking about The Temptation of St. Anthony by Salvatore Rosa. Now, you gotta get that right, Salvatore Rosa. There's a bunch of, if you look, if you Google Temptation of St. Anthony, you're gonna get a lot of different A lot of artists use the same subject matter. A lot, yeah, this this has been the source of a lot of paintings in the last hundred years or so. This one was made in 1645, and the first thing that stands out for me is like, hey, it looks like an alien. Yep. You know, like it's got, it's so sci-fi. What is this thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's oil on canvas, and what we're seeing is a depiction of uh, a event or a moment from Saint Anthony's journey that he apparently went on, and he was tempted tempted by demons and uh, just a lot of really supernatural things happened to him on this trip, and. <laughs> Apparently, he took acid and went on a trip. <laughs> the thing trip. I like is how, like, the story is about how he was tempted. Yeah. And, like, you know, if you're going to tempt someone, like, why wouldn't you look more appealing? Like, <laughs> like, hey, boy. Imagine, like, like, Satan is just like, all right, we got to get St. Peter. We need the, like, big necked, long, like, he'll get him. He's, he's a cool guy and all that. Oh, that is and a long neck. You're right. As something like 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 that, but I mean, all I'm saying is I wouldn't trust this dude. Like, if he was tempting me, whatever he's selling, I would not buy. Well, here's yeah. the, here's like the coolest thing about this painting is that this is Salvatore Rosa's like, interpretation of a demon because the, apparently the demons were taking all sorts of shapes and forms, and in the Temptation they were kind of um, being seductive ladies and whatnot. I mean, there's another one that kind of looks like a cherub. Yeah, there's a, so you can see like in the back, there's like this cherub going like, yeah, nah, you know. Um, is that the one reaching? Go on, yeah, there and take a soul for it, me. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like a cherub that's like blown its cover. That's yep. like, it looked like a cherub and now it's going back to demonic form. Because in, like I said, this is source material for a reason. These demons took on so many shapes and forms. And if you look up just the, the Temptation of St. Anthony, you'll see so many different like interpretations of demons. And I chose this one specifically because I get such a science fiction feel from it for a, a painting from the 1600s. You know, I feel like the this depiction of a demon uh, is the creepiest, so first of all, yep. in, in my opinion. It's chicken limb, long neck. Uh, it has tusks, I think. Yeah, tiny uh, tusks. <laughs> little, yeah, little tusks, uh, long neck, and I just love the moment in captures. It's 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 Saint Saint Anthony on his, you know, he's obviously gotten off guard by this demon. His demon's about to get him, and he's got the cross. His only protection. Yeah, is his faith. <laughs> Coming like soon to a theater near you. That's a long cross. It really is. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. dude, it's actually also a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> he throws it blade style. It's a wooden sword that he's holding upside down. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh god, oh god! <laughs> like he be, he's so in the moment he picked it up wrong. <laughs> no, but it's it's on also it is a great example of Baroque painting. It's Baroque is oh, definitely. Yeah, it's it's the movement after Renaissance and a lot of Baroque painting caught the action, the moment. You know, they caught like the biggest, the highest point of the moment and event, and that's what we have here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fancy Dave's back checking. Yeah, I'm just double checking. <laughs> yeah, so uh, fancy. Mm-hmm. I told you, let's do this. You said okay. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Uh, you know, it reminds me more of those medieval pieces of like the demons, how bizarre they looked, like yeah. in the depictions of hell. Yeah. So it almost feels like a throwback to even that. True that. Uh, he's definitely straight from hell. Yeah, I mean. I mean, Actually, no, I think I saw him at 7-Eleven the other day, this guy. He's, uh, yeah, he's taking that meth. <laughs> yeah, that's what, cocaine's a hell of a drug, man. I'm, I'm just more curious about the little uh, imp, really. I think it's another demon. They just, they take different forms. See, he, like, blasted the other, the bigger demon from his palm. Yep, sure. style. <laughs> yeah, actually. Like, 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 pushing him over, and the bigger demon's like, oh, I gotta... Actually, it's, like over, it's a screenshot from the next Pokemon game. 
He just, oh, shit, yeah, he dude. just threw the Pokeball. Man, Kabutops got real ugly. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Kabutops mega form right here. Oh. <laughs> Patrick, what do you think of this painting? When you see it, like, what comes to your mind? I the thing that I like about Bro Brokar, it's um, like you got to be a storyteller to uh, to do a composition. Um, and the thing that I do enjoy is the theatrical lighting that's going in the bottom left because you got Saint Peter. Uh, last resort, but you uh, when 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 you look at the uh, layout of this painting, it's it's mostly dark. You know, it's it's mostly depressing so, so subject matter and the way that things are done. But it's it's a nice touch how in the bottom left there's like that peak of light that's just hitting Saint Peter. So, so divine it, protection just yeah. around the corner right there. That you know, and honestly, like uh, again with the whole storytelling thing, it uh, it does tell like maybe that shining light is his god coming to save him you know yeah. like it gonna get him in like that before he can be clutched away by a demon it's just the way that it's um kind of like portrayed is it's overwhelmed by all this evil you know it's yeah. it, it's it's almost in a sense that like a david and goliath uh theory going on here you know it's just like like overwhelming odds uh but still you got like this slight chance to get out yeah, you're right. Yeah. The light is definitely it. It's really hard to do in painting, but the light is definitely being overwhelmed uh, by the dark in this mm -hmm. painting. But I mean, the light is obviously it's still bright and stuff, but you do yeah you get the sense of like it's a weak little light. You know, it's kind of like like his last hope. Like he's like yeah. ah, fuck. You know, <laughs> he's like this will get him. <laughs> yeah. Go cross. Get <laughs> go, him. go cross. Yeah. So. Um, Final thoughts on this, Dave? Me? Yes. I'm like I'm like a Mr. Demon, you know, because tiny tusks. But uh, I, I don't know something about it. The fact that it's so emaciated just makes it more menacing. Very. I don't know. It's just you know, it's like yeah, like when you even think about it, how how can this thing even do any harm to him? Because it's so. It's true. It's, it's so practical. skeletal. It looks like it's gonna fall over, but it's. Yeah, I guess it's still very dangerous. I guess more primal fears, fangs like tiny claws <laughs> yeah and the painting and the depiction of the demon really it gets in our heads you know um you're right practically how could this thing do any damage but the fact that it's so abnormal so like a exaggerated version of a torso and legs and and a neck you know it just he kind of knew exactly how to creep us out mm -hmm. and that's pretty cool too uh patrick final thoughts I, uh, when I'm looking at this, I, I want to get your guys' opinion on this really, really quick. So, with the monster, does it look like it's kind of like going, like withdrawing back a little bit from from the cross? Oh. You know, because I don't know. That's because the more I look, I was like, oh, it could look like he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, shit. oh crap, like, like shit. He brought, he, he's no, packing. He's, he's got back. He's packing back. <laughs> and then the, the cherub guy in the back is like, oh, bro, no. Don't Actually, you know, <laughs> now when you tell me that, this painting takes on a whole new meaning, a whole new light. That cherub thing could be like, oh no, and then the, the demon could be, oh crap. Yeah. That's Surprise cool. Surprise ending, St. Peter's the demon. Oh! oh! He is the monster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so please like us on Facebook, we would love if you did that. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll be back next time with another creepy piece for this Halloween. Uh, so next time from Mike, Fancy Dave, and Patrick. These are Art Booze. Ooh. Ooh.